guys. Okay, so today we're going to do an interesting video. Basically, I'm going to do a review today, and guess what? This is, in fact, a sponsored review. How fun! Just out of honesty, I did get this whole box for free. Um, yeah, I don't really find a problem with that, but, uh, yeah, just for all of you guys that get irritated by that kind of thing, feel free to not watch this video. Um, I will give my honest opinion on everything in this box of goodies, um, and I don't really see the point in lying about a product because then it degrades grades my opinion and my validity, so I would prefer to be completely honest. If I did not like a product that was sent to me, I would immediately email the people and be like, hey, guess what? Your stuff sucks, lol. And then they would be like, okay, screw you, send it back, lol. And then that's how that would go. But since I liked this, I'm going to show it to you guys. Basically, the whole product is a box set. No, I was not so excited about it that I tore into it with my bare teeth. It was actually my dog smelled something delicious in this box and, um went for it. So that's what happened. It is Pop Sugar's Must Have Monthly Favorites. So basically what this entire box is, is a monthly subscription like a lot of other boxes you've seen reviewed on YouTube, but in a completely different way, which is the main reason why I was excited about getting it. Instead of it being a box full of samples and um, just kind of like random beauty things or something like that, this is a collection of favorites. The best way I can describe it is if you go and like read People Magazine or like Mary Claire Magazine or something like that, they always have like the editor's pick of the month or something like that. It's basically the same thing. There's not necessarily just beauty stuff in here. There's like food and and like home goods and things like that. So it's not something that you're just getting like tiny tic tac size samples of different products. You're getting full sized awesomeness things. I'll show you. Yeah, so this month that I got was December's um, and I'm just stoked to show you guys because I was really pleasantly surprised by this whole box. This is the little pamphlet you get with it. It says Pop Sugar's Must Have December Box. What this has is a description of each of the items you're going to get um, and then a little like kind of reason why you're getting it. Already you can see that there's not really any beauty products necessarily in here. It's because like I said, it's like an editor's favorite. It's not just like, here's a sample of mascara that you won't use because it's a sample. These are all full-size items, which I think is like the major, I guess, clap-worthy factor of this box is that none of it is those kind of cheap samples that you're really never going to use. It's all stuff that is completely versatile, really unique and interesting in general. It seems like they actually handpicked everything in here and wasn't just like, who's going to give us free samples, companies? And like just gave you those. Let's just dig right in. I'm sorry the box is kind of disgusting, but uh, you can thank my dog Olive for that. The first thing in the December box um, was the must-have home item, and this is the Bodum Bistro mugs. This is a monthly service in which they give you mugs and things. Okay, so this is the mug set. <laughs> um, and just upon opening this, this just looks like a very interesting thing. I have not actually tore into any of these products just because I kind of wanted a fresh feel when I made the video. Um, but so far I'm pleased because I can make tea and stuff in here. And they're double walled so they don't sweat, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, they give you two mugs. So here's my one mug. Hello, and I get two of them. Um, it has a legit glass feel to it. It doesn't feel all plasticky and... Uh, kind of fake. It's it's glass, all right, um, which I guess is a really, really good thing. And it's Bodum, which I really like Bodum's products. I've used a lot of their like Tupperware and stuff like that, and um, my mom always uses it. So I definitely trust the brand. It's not like some off-brand. I just think it's cool that they like give you mugs in a monthly subscription. They give you stuff that you can actually use on a daily basis. It's not just like a foundation you may or may not like. This is something you will use. And their explanation for this is that their editor-in-chief had been raving about them after visiting a friend's house in the summer. Then her friend actually gave her a set of these like as a gift and fell in love with them. So she was like, you guys might like this and sent them out to all of the people who are subscribed to Pop Sugar. So here you go. That's pretty... I think that's a pretty good recommendation. Next thing in the kit is the T Forte sampler box. Although there is chocolate in this box, this was the thing that my dog was going for for some odd reason. I guess my dog likes tea like I do. I don't know. This is T Forte, and what's so funny is my mom saw this and was like, I used to buy these all the time for people in like gift sets and stuff. So um, that's really funny. But it says it's 10 silken infusers. It's a sampler box, so it has all of the different teas in it, which I have yet to open. Um, but once again, it's a classy 
classy thing. It's not a sample of one tea. You get a whole sampler set, which I find really, really cool and interesting. So there's that. I have a little description of why they chose it, and it basically is because these teas are delicious. Uh, that's basically the synopsis of what I would say that was supposed to say. And that was the must-have food. That was one of the must-have foods of the month. The next one is a must-have beauty product, a bar of soap, um, and this is the Jobaneria Marianella soap. Mm. And it's a face and body bar, and it's called Aura Alina. This is like a big time like anti-aging soap and stuff. Um, it smells really, really good. It's got a very, very heavy fragrance to it, so if that maybe turns you off, then that probably wouldn't be good. But it's all natural. It's for face and body, so you can use it for both, which is nice. Um, and it smells really, really good. It's also got argan oil in it, which is something that I always try to buy in my products because it's super moisturizing. So I'll try that out and let you know what I think. Also... I just detected it. It has coconut in it, so I'm my favorite. You guys know I love coconut. Next product is a must-have fashion product, and this is the Pinch Provisions Mini Emergency Kit, which you guys have probably seen in a bunch of different websites. I know that J. Crew sells these now, but basically it's the Mini Emergency Kit, which has 17 essentials. It has like band-aids, pain reliever, breath freshener, mending kit, dental floss, emery boards, tampons, lip balm, clear elastic, stain remover, etc., etc. Um, but what's cool about this one? Get it out of the box. Not only is it a little purple pouch, but it also has a little wishbone. Like, good luck, you'll need it if you're having to use this kit, which I think is sad and morbid, but good, because at least they know what you're getting yourself into. So there's that fancy little thing. Fun. The reason why they gave you that was because since this is the December one, they wanted to give you something like for parties and stuff that you could use on the go. And so they entered that into the box because they were like, everyone on New Year's will need things like breath freshener and clear nail polish. I thought that was it, thoughtful. Why thank you, Pop Sugar, for being so thoughtful. Next thing is a must have food item again, and this is the Bogdan Peppermint Poles. Hello, I haven't had these yet. Um, and the reason behind this is that they're a quintessential um, holiday treat, apparently, because they are, in fact, peppermint, so that makes sense to me, at least. I don't know about you guys, um, but I have yet to tear into these. I was so tempted to, and I was like, no, I have to eat them on camera. Ah. So they're individually wrapped little, little puppies here, little suckers. Hmm. What a delightful little treat. I think this would be something really, really good to, like, stir your hot cocoa with. If you like dark chocolate and you like peppermint, you will like this. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, I just got really, really nervous. I read on the side of the thing, like, the nutrition facts, and it said 330 calories. And it said one package, and these are individually wrapped. So I was like, one package. Did I just eat 330 calories in that little stick? But no, it meant the whole box, so. Whew! Next thing is the Go Swipe Microfiber Cleansing Cloth. And I thought this was a really, really cool idea. You know how you always hear about how dirty your phone, like, front is if you've used your phone and then set it down and, like, you keep bringing it up to your face and getting, like, all your oils from your face on your phone and you put it in your pocket and you put it on, like, a table where no one's washed it and etc. Your phone's, like, always dirty and, like, the surface of your iPad might be dirty or even, like, I don't know, your iPod. What this does is it cleanses the surface of like your iPhone or your iPad or something like that and it gets rid of 98% of germs and bacteria. This is their little blip behind it. It says we are completely attached to our phones and sometimes it's not so fun to think about all the places we set them down between calls and texts. Thanks to the newly released Go Swipe, we no longer have to worry about what we're holding up to our faces when we chat with loved ones. Keep it in your bag at all times, wipe up your phone when you need to. Breathe easy knowing it removes dirt, oil, grime, fingerprints, and up to 98% of germs and bacteria. So that's once again a really, really cool idea for New Year's and stuff since you're going to be going out a lot and you're putting stuff down all the time. Once again, I'm talking in like a past tense kind of way because this is a December box. But if you have any more holiday things you're going to, Valentine's Day is coming up. Do people have Valentine's Day parties or is that just a single thing? Because... I don't know, I'd have a Valentine's Day party, but I would carry this with me just in case. Certainly is a cute little cloth, is it not? So the next and last thing that is given to you in the box is something that was probably the most shocking and exciting thing that I got in the box, which I know there was a lot of things, but this is probably my favorite. Um, this is from the must-have fashion section. By the way, the ghost wipe was must-have tech, so you'll get like a must-have tech every single month. The must-have fashion was a gift card to rent the runway for $30. I was no kidding on rent the runway two days before I got this box. Like, I wanted to buy a dress, and I was like, I'll wait, I'll wait. And now I have an excuse to buy one. Um, but yeah, you get a $30 gift card there, which is awesome, because who wants to pay that much money for a designer dress, and who wants to pay that much money to just rent it for one night? I would like to have the majority of it paid for by someone else, I guess. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Rent the Runway before, but 
basically it's this website where you can go online and if you have like died over this designer dress for the longest time and you've always wanted to wear it for like a special occasion but you know you could never ever 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 afford it like it's crazy expensive you can go on that website and they rent it out to you for a weekend it's a really great idea to me since being a high school student and always being at prom and stuff I never always really love my dress and the problem with that is then I have this really expensive formal dress in my closet that I'm literally never gonna wear again and I maybe paid I don't know, like $200, $300 for it for no reason. I don't spend that much on dresses normally. Um, but if that was the case, it would be sad because it would be like $300 collecting dust in my closet. Whereas if I used my Rent the Runway thing, I would spend $50 to have an awesome prom day and be wearing, you know, Kate Spade from head to toe and feeling great about myself in a designer dress that no one else is going to have at your school. Yeah, this just turned into an advertisement for Rent the Runway, and I'm not even sponsored by them, but I do love Rent the Runway. But anyways, that is it for the little box. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all that stuff. I'm serious. They've got a cool thing going for them. Normally, I'm not that smitten by, like, monthly boxes because you get too many samples. You don't get enough actual products. But uh, I think I'm going to go brew myself some of this tea, which is a giant sampler box of tea. I don't know. I definitely give this box a thumbs up. I'm subscribed to them for the next six months, so next month I'll see if I like the box just as much as I like this one because I'm thoroughly impressed. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to comment below if you have any questions. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media sites in the description box and subscribe if you are not already. See you guys later. Bye!